Declan Rice joins Arsenal training and sets a big target. Eric Ten Hag is optimistic about a Real Madrid transfer and three Chelsea players are left out of the US preseason squad. Hi, this is the latest Premier League news brought to you by Tribuna. Mauricio Pochettino has taken 29 players to the United States for Chelsea's preseason tour. It seems like a lot, but many have been left out. Usual suspects Obama Young, Ziyech, Hudson Adoy didn't travel because they will be sold. The same for Romelu Lukaku, who is now in talks with Juventus. Benu Abadia Shale, Wesley Fofana, and Rhys James have all been left in London to recover from injuries. Abadia Shale should be fine, James is sadly becoming more and more injury prone, and Fofana seems like a bad business already. It's not just because he's out of the preseason. The £75 million centre back also missed 20 Chelsea games last season. Not like the Blues didn't know who they wanted to sign last summer. Fofana had already had massive problems with his knees and missed almost the whole season before Todd Bailey sanctioned the deal. Chelsea will play five games in the United States. First against Wrexham United, the talked about Welsh team owned by Hollywood stars Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney. Then the Blues will play Brighton, Newcastle and Fulham. The final fixture will be against Borussia Dortmund on 2nd August in Chicago. One of the most talented academy footballers at Liverpool has resumed training after 17 months injured. Kate Gordon has announced his return with a picture on his Instagram stories captioned first session back. Gordon hasn't played a single competitive game since February last year. Still only 18, the attacker has shown what he can do. He's made five senior appearances for Jurgen Klopp and scored in the FA Cup. The winger suffered from adolescent musculoskeletal issues, also known as growing pains. The disease results in an aching or throbbing in the muscles of both legs. In other news, Thiago is in the final stages of his rehabilitation from hip surgery and is expected to be back to full training soon. Eric Ten Hag is set to name a new Man United captain after taking the captaincy away from Harry Maguire. Perhaps for the first time in many years, the Red Devils have no lack of options for the armband. Varane, Casemiro, Rashford, Bruno Fernandes and Man United fans are almost all in agreement on who should be passed the responsibility to lead the club on the pitch. Bruno Fernandes fits the bill perfectly, is the opinion of many fans on Tribuna. He's vocal and he carries the team. This really is the most logical choice. Bruno was the captain in Maguire's absence last season and the two players lifted the Carabao Cup, which is quite unusual. Benjamin Mendy is a free man again after being found not guilty of rape. Two days after his release, Mendy surprised complete strangers. The 28-year-old turned up for a kickabout at a football complex in Manchester. He was all smiles as he used to be and he also sported Man City's sky blue colors. The lads couldn't believe it, one of the onlookers told the Sun. Getting to play against the Premier League star and the World Cup winner. He had a laugh and just enjoyed himself and was happy to shake everyone's hand and sign autographs. For the time being, it's not obvious what is next for Mendy. He was released by Man City last month following the contract expiry. He has received massive support from the likes of Vinicius, Dubai, Grealish, Rio Ferdinand and so on, but don't forget, he hasn't trained with a professional football club in two years. Man United are reportedly interested in yet another Real Madrid player. According to Spanish newspaper El Nacional, the Red Devils could go for David Alaba. The Austrian could be a replacement and an upgrade on Harry Maguire, and Derek Ten Hag is said to be optimistic. The source is far from the best, but the information could make sense. United need a new centre-back, and Alaba could also play on the left and as a holding midfielder. And anyway, the first Casemiro rumours last summer sounded like nonsense too. Two potential problems about Alaba are his age and injury record. He's 31 years old, and you could think of this as bags of experience. But Alaba's injuries may be a real concern. He is prone to niggles and misses games. He may still be a signing to get United fans excited, as the Red Devils don't have many players of this level. Arsenal have landed in Washington DC for the upcoming US tour. Mikel Oteta has taken 27 footballers, including the new signings Hubbard, Rice and Timber. It seems like Rice has no problem adapting to his new teammates. He's been all smiles in training and set an ambitious target to win the Premier League and the Champions League with the Gunners. Some notable omissions from the squad are Smith Rowe, 
Party, Pepe, Cedric, Laconga, Nelson and Tavares. Smith Rowe is given extended rest after the European Youth Championship and Nelson is reportedly injured. The others are expected to be sold. The Gunners will kick off their United States part of the preseason with a game against MLS All-Stars on Thursday night. After this, they will face Man United and Barcelona. The final clash of the preseason will be back in London against Monaco on 2nd August. If you have enjoyed this episode, like the video, subscribe to the channel and also visit our website chibuna.com. There we cover every major Premier League story and leave no stone unturned in our quest to bring you the ultimate football experience.